Welcome back, everyone, to the Naked Gardener channel. It's your boy, Sydney and Tori. And this video, we're going to be moving our turkeys and chickens. For the first time. For the first time. Now, we've been bucket training our turkeys and chickens a little bit. And what we're going to be doing is trying to move out the turkeys while Mrs. Naked Gardener uh, sets up the pens for the turkeys. I, I just want to interject and say, now there's an important reason that we've been especially training the turkeys. We don't have a way to contain them in an, in an enclosed area while we're moving their fencing. We have to rely on them to follow us free ranging with no fencing around them. This is gonna be an interesting uh, situation to see how this works out. Wish us luck. We would like to give thanks for Grub Terrier for reaching out to us and sending us a bag of some of their black soldier fly larvae. With this, we've been reading up a lot about it. It's supposed to help with the chickens, with the feathers, and to increase the strength of the shells of their eggs and whatnot. And it has a about 75% more calcium than uh, the mealworm. So our turkeys are very picky eaters. So it's gonna be interesting to find out uh, if they're gonna like this or not. And, and uh, are you comfortable doing this test for the first time? This is the first time where, as you can see, it's not, never been open. The good thing about this uh, Grub Terror, they're US, it's a US company out of New Jersey. And they basically a sustainable company because they take a lot of the food from the waste from restaurants and places. And that's how they gather up their farm for the black soldier fly. So we're gonna try to go ahead and bucket train these. Just to show you how picky our turkeys are, we're gonna show you some other food that we normally give to the uh, chickens and show you once we throw that out to see that they don't really go after that food and see how well they go after this. So right here is the free range premium blend boom worms. They got a corn, sunflower, seeds, oats, safflower, flax, raisin, and boom worms, whatever that is. Now with this, it only has almost 12% protein. So right there is the black soldier fly has 30, about three times the amount of protein. And with turkeys, you want to have a high protein content. With, yeah, well, 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 any bird, you want a high protein, a high calcium, so that way they can help increase their feathers, supposed to be the feathers and their eggs. So let's show you how they're picky eaters about that. They're like, they're already sticking their nose up at it though. <laughs> and now we'll watch how they go after these mealworms. <laughs> yeah, they'll fight each other over those. So now with these mealworms, they got a 54% protein but only a 0 0.03 calcium. How much calcium is in the Grub Terra? In the Grub Terra, it is 5%, oh. 2 to 5%. So that's a good ratio. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, see if they like the Grub Terra. Now the good thing also I like about the Grub Terra packaging, most packaging, they have a lot of air inside of it. With, with this, it's very airtight, so that's a good, good thing. It feels like the bag is like packed full. Yeah. And that's a, how many pounds is that bag? This is 80 ounces. Let's see how they like this. Ooh, now something I do like about this. There is a, oh, those are, that's, that's packed pretty nice. Smell very caramelly ish. Let's see if they like it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have any problem having them follow so, you out in the open. Let's try to bucket train these guys with this. I'm going to just take them up there to enough time for you to hopefully have the fence down and then I'll come back around and help you out. And then we'll just keep them around with this.
Hope this works. Untangled. I probably need to flip it that way so I can access them. a little more slack just a little wait actually this is good hey get back this is good okay boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. you guys are silly you did a good job that was a good job good job yeah yeah, good stuff. You guys did good. This is just our old beat up shed. We're about to have 103 degree days and we were looking to provide the turkeys 
with some more shade and there's plenty of dirt in here I know they love to have dirt baths plenty of insects that haven't been discovered yet and one of the coolest things about this new area for them is we have all of these pears on the ground for them to snack on this is our pear tree so this is going to be nice for them I suspect that they might try to hop up here I'm totally fine with it they're about to be too fat to be able to do it but if they get a chance to do it I don't I'm not gonna be mad about it they got some nice area to explore some stuff I want them to clear up anyway what do you think babe hopefully this is a nice little spot for them I already tested out the uh, fence we're about a 5.0 to 5.2 that's higher than usual yeah I did just cut the grass today yeah to prepare for this so we'll see how long it takes for them to get this all down maybe a week maybe two weeks and I like that our water spout is right there too so it's gonna be really easy uh, what I probably might wind up doing is getting a attachment to the uh, mower the little um, water thing to the mower so that way if we do have them out in that field out there we'll be able to fill it up at the mower and take it out to them thank you grub terror for helping us out with this video by sponsoring and allowing us to try that the uh, black soldier flies as y'all can see they love it and we'll definitely be using that for their uh, bucket training they're discovering the fruits the squirrel the fat squirrel that's over here is going to be upset it won't be able to get up on here now uh, I mean it's going to be at its own risk it's going to be arm wrestling the, the turkeys it's a lot of spiders so there's this definitely going to help out cut down on the spiders here well we hope you like this video if so make sure you give us a thumbs up it really helps our channel out and if you're new to the channel and would like to be part of our family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So moving this Gallagher fence was our first time moving it and it was just tangled. It took some time. I think we might have a solution for it next time. If y'all have a solution for it, comment down below and let us know. So that way we don't make the same mistake twice. If you want to see other videos where we did some homestead with our poultry, we'll put a playlist over to the side for you to follow along. Until the next video, let's grow together.